Hey, what's up, everybody? Back with another video. This time, we're going to be talking about that final stretch. Of course, Game of Thrones comes on this Sunday. We get six episodes. Some of the episodes are an hour. Some of them, I think, are like 79, 80 minutes. So we get a little couple of mini movies in there. But looking forward to this. Been waiting a while for the show to come back been talking with it with people I know they've been excited coming up with their theories and what they think might happen and this and that but hey I'm prepared Sunday is going down but one thing I was thinking about when I was uh, around people talking about theories I think this would be a very cool theory to go down not saying that it would go down but hope it does my theory was the one thing I kept thinking about was Leanna Stark giving birth and dying now one theory i came up with was what if liana stark actually gave birth to two kids a lot of people are like two kids what do you mean two kids okay we got john what if john would have had a fellow sibling no you know the dragon must have three heads what if it's the three heads are actually daenerys john and mirror reed now a lot of people haven't gone with this theory but from watching the show i was like uh i think that'd be a pretty good theory i think it's a couple of people out there who actually go with this theory too but i didn't really notice that until like when i thought about it after a while i was like damn what if mira reed is actually john's sister and that's how leon actually died she gave birth to john and mira and then of course John ended up with Ned, and Mary ended up with Howling Reed. Howling Reed, I mean. So, thought that'd be pretty cool. Other theories that I have for the show that I think that are going to definitely be confirmed. I think we're going to find out that the Night King is a Stark. And I also think that Ned leaving to go to King's Landing to be the hand of the king actually broke part of the pact that they originally had with the White Walkers when the Long Night was over, being that a Stark must always be in Winterfell. You heard it doing the show. You've heard numerous characters say it, especially in the first season. So, I think that was part of the pack that got broke. So, that should be very interesting to see what ends up happening with that. Because, I, man, those Starks, especially like the details in the books, too. There's a connection there. The Night King and the Starks, it's, it's, a, it's a connection there. They gotta be related somehow descendants that is going to be crazy but we shall see other things i'm looking forward to i'm looking forward to who actually survives this last damn season because as many characters that we have from over the seasons that have made it this far you know a couple of them are making it to their last lap i just hope that most of the characters actually get fitting deaths or at least get to tie up most of their storylines. Because I don't want to have like a, a fan favorite kick the bucket. But they didn't complete their cycle as far as the story goes. And of course, if they're going to end up seeing a couple of people getting killed. And end up being raised by the Night King. That's going to actually piss the fans off. But hey, it's going to be good drama and story to see that going down as far as I'm concerned. But time will tell. Other things I want to see. It's a couple of characters I definitely want to see die. Cersei. I love that character, but the evil in that woman, she 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 better not survive this at the end. Hopefully the all the prophecies or whatever that she she does, cause I love uh Lena Headley playing that character, but I hate Cersei. Cersei makes you hate her. Sometimes you'd be like you feel sorry for her and then she turns right back around. Kicks you right in the stomach and you're like, damn, I should have just knocked you out when I had a chance. And she, she just grins and sips on some wine and laughs at you. But that's what I like about the character. That's good acting. If you make me actually hate the character like that, you're doing a good damn job as far as I'm concerned. But we shall see. Will we ever see uh, Jamie and... Uh... <laughs> Will we actually see Jamie finally confess how he actually feels to... Uh... Brianna of Toth. We'll see. That should be interesting. You all both have 
the same sword, well, the sword that came from Ned's sword, separated. So we'll see if we get any uh, closure on that one. We shall see. But hopefully, everything wraps up nice enough. I don't need a perfect ending. I just need a damn near good enough ending, and I'll be happy. Because with Game of Thrones, you know things do not work out the way you expect them to. Well, at least not most of the time. But we shall see. But otherwise than that, man, leave your comments and let me know what you think about some of these theories. Which characters you think might kick the bucket, get murked, get killed, come back as White Walkers and piss people off a little bit. But we're not going to delve that deep, at least not this go around. But uh, of course, let me know what your theories are, what theories you support, what you think is going to happen, who's going to live, who's going to die, things that you think that nobody has paid attention to and you think it might go down this way or that way let me know in the comment section give me some feedback did you enjoy the last seven seasons before we get to this last eighth season and are you happy with your six episodes or you thought they could have fleshed out and gave you a little bit more because i know that budget for this season is i know that thing is wild but hey It'll finally be here this Sunday. Winter is here and let the uh, White Walkers march and hopefully the humans survive this round. But otherwise than that, make sure to like, comment. Like I already said, comment. Let's discuss this in the uh, comment section below. But otherwise than that, I will catch you all in the next one. All right, everybody.